Hello. In this lecture, we'll learn how to bake normal maps in Blender. Before going to lecture, I recommend you to watch the lecture about what normals are. Normal mapping is a texture mapping technique used for faking the lighting of bumps and dents. Normal baking is the process of transferring normal data from high poly mesh to low poly mesh. This technique is used to enhance the appearance and details of a low poly model by generating a normal map from a high poly model. It is very useful, because you can add more detail to your model without increasing number of polygons. Let's see how to bake normal maps. First of all, we need high poly and low poly mesh. Let's press shift A and add a plane. Press tab key to go to edit mode. Press E key and extrude plane little bit. Then, go back to object mode and press shift D and duplicate plane. It is very important to be overlapping each other for normal baking process. But, you can be sure that their origin points overlaps each other. Because we have duplicated them. Let's rename one of them as high poly and other one as low poly. Now, let's add different materials to both meshes. We can add the same material also. But, we can more easily distinguish them like this. Let's select the low poly mesh firstly. Then, go to material properties menu and add new material. Let's switch to material preview mode. Then, Hide the low poly mesh in the viewport. Now, let's select high poly mesh and add a material. Let's go back to edit mode again. Select the top face of the mesh. Right click and subdivide it 100 times. Subdivide it one more time. As you can see, we have high poly mesh which has 41,213 vertices. Let's go to sculpt mode and add some details on the mesh. Let's go back to layout mode. Right click and make shade smooth. Go to object data properties menu and enable auto smooth option and increase auto smooth angle. Now we can unhide our low poly mesh. Let's switch to shading mode. Firstly, we need to create normal map image. Let's go to image editor and create new image. Let's name this image as normal map and set the width and height to 4096 pixel.
Then, let's press OK and zoom out. As you can see, we have black square image. When we are done with normal map baking, it will appear here. Now, we need a image texture for low poly mesh. Firstly select the low poly mesh. Then, go over the shading editor and press Shift A. Go to texture and select image texture. Drop down menu and select the normal map image. Choose the color space as non-color. Then, go to render properties menu and select cycles as render engine. Go down to bake section and drop down menu. Switch the bake type from combined to normal. Enable the selected to active option. It means everything selected is gonna bake it to active selection. So low poly mesh should be active selection. To do this, Firstly let's select the high poly mesh and then, hold shift and select the low poly mesh. Now, we are ready to bake normal map. Let's click on the bake button and wait for baking process ending. Baking process has done. But, there are some problems on the normal map. Especially, there is problem in graphics section. It is because graphics section has bump and MK section has dent. MK is okay. Because it has dent and can match to points on high poly mesh. But, Graphics has bump and need to match to points on high poly mesh. Firstly, let's measure this bump height nearly. Now, let's set the extrusion value to 0.03. Then, let's bake again. There we go. We have a normal map from high poly mesh properly. Now, let's apply this normal map to low poly mesh. Firstly, let's hide high poly mesh in the viewport. Then, go over shading editor. Press Shift A and add normal map vector. Connect image texture color node to normal map color node. Then, connect the normal node to the normal node in principled shader. There we go. We have transferred the normal map information to our low poly mesh. We can increase strength value also. Let's unhide high poly mesh and compare each other. As you can see, baking normal map is a illusion technique for shading of bumps and dents. But it is very useful technique for making animation and game characters. It will reduce render time and allows to create low poly characters without high polygons numbers. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.